Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you FSR 3.0 frame generation. This is a mod, it's not an official release. This mod was created by Luke FC, but it's currently under paywall. You need to join his Patreon to download this mod. But I already have it, so I'll show you what it looks like. And you know, if you like it, you can go over there and support him if you want. I'll leave a link in the description. And I'm testing this on my Steam Deck with Steam OS with cyberpunk 2077 phantom liberty all right let's start with the mod off so i don't have the mod on right now so you can see the performance okay and the graphic settings i've set it to quick preset steam deck all right and i've done nothing else it's on amd fsr 2.1 and if you take a look at my theme settings on the performance tab I've just done this disable frame limit and on power tools SMT on eight threads and governor set to performance and I also have cryo utilities on recommended settings and I've set my VRAM to four gigabytes okay and let's take a look at the video video uh, I've set the maximum FPS and the value is 240 windowed borderless resolution at 1280 by 720 okay so let's check out the performance so you'll take note of the top left corner i've got the fps counter on okay so we should get an average of 30 fps so 30 to 40 that's i've played this game a lot on this settings so i'm pretty like it's pretty much standard uh, CD Projekt Red did a great job with this um, preset, I think. Like, if you're on the Steam Deck, you're using this preset. It's really, really good. Okay, I can't get his car. What? Okay, now get this one. All right, let's drive around a bit. So you know the performance. But yeah, it's pretty much similar across the board. It's very playable. This game is very playable on the Steam Deck, actually. All right yep so enough of that i think um yeah you don't want to see the vanilla one all right let's exit the game and i'm going to enable the mod okay, i've already done the like moving the files over to the game folder and all that in desktop mode so i'll show you how to do that later on in the video so right now i'm just going to add the launch option this enables the mod okay so i've added this uh launch option Okay, now I'm going to run the mod with the game. So you'll notice that the mod will pop up if it's working. See that? This is the like the window that shows you that the mod is working. Okay, you see I've got two windows. Yeah, this is the mod that's attached to it. All right. So I know that the mod is working. So I'll show you how to like transfer those files, where to put them later let's just check out the performance and also for this mod to work it's a little bit different i did a video for hogwarts legacy uh, it's a little bit different here you need to set the graphics the resolution scaling you need to set it to dlss instead of instead of fsr so I'm going to set it to, oops, theme deck. And then, yeah, I'm going to set it to DOSS, super resolution. And then I'm going to click apply. Okay, that makes it work. Now let's go back to the save file that I just showed you. So we're doing the same area for a fair comparison. So if you remember, we were getting like 30-ish, 40. Okay, so now with FSR 3 mod on, we should get a better performance. But we should, like the UI will have some flickering. So you can see we're at like over 60, 50, 60. But you can see that UI, it's flickering and some ghosting effect. Yeah, that's because FSR 3 is on. The mod is on. I uh, hope they could fix it in the future, but now it's only in beta stage. The mod is in beta stage, so I hope they fix it. Oh, I just got ran over. 
right. So you can see we got way better performance. Almost double the performance, but um but yeah, we just got some ghosting and flickering. That's the same with um, Hogwarts Legacy. Oh, I think it's the same across the board. It's just, uh, it's in the beta stage. So I hope they like fix up the mod, make it better in future. Or maybe like they'll have official release the games that actually support FSR 3. Yeah, so performance wise, it's a lot better. And some people say you get, um, what do you call it? The input lag. I don't really get that. I'm not sure. Maybe, like for me, let me try shoot a gun. Yeah, it looks like it feels feels smooth. I feel smooth. I don't feel any input lag. So that's great. All right, so let's go back to desktop mode. Let's go back to desktop mode and I'll show you how to install this. All right, so see you in desktop mode. Okay, so welcome back to my Steam Deck's desktop mode. Before we go any further, I'd like to let you guys know that I actually have a secondary channel. It's a cooking channel. It's called Grown Up Cooking. And yeah, it's one of my passions other than gaming. So if you want to support me other than subscribing to this channel, the gaming one, please go over and subscribe to the cooking one. Yeah, if you like gaming, I think you like eating as well, right? So yeah, might as well subscribe to both of them. And I've already uploaded my first video on my cooking channel. So it's a, a lobster recipe. If you like lobsters, please go and check out that video. I'll give you some clips right now. Alright, we're gonna kill it. I'm scared. Oh my god. The cheese is completely melted. So that was interesting, right? So if you want to see the full video, go over to my cooking channel, Growing Up Cooking, and subscribe. I'll leave the link in the description below. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. So I've got the mod right here downloaded. So it's called Luke FC Mods. Okay, and inside there's a README. So make sure you check out the README file. And there's a link. There's a link to this compatibility list. So check out your game if it's supported and what settings you need. For me, it's Cyberpunk 2077. So it says it uses this uh, 220 version 0 0.6 or later. All right, and it's supported. Okay, and at, at the end here it says um, if you're using uh, 0 0.6 version or earlier, you need to do this uh, CFR. All right, so I'll tell you what that is. So normally what you do is, is the 0 0.6 so i'm going to use this version and it's um 220 so i'm going to use this zip file okay i'm going to use these files okay and you, i'm going to locate my game so before i did the mod on a steam game where the game is in the common folder this one is a non-steam game so it's just in my games directory and then cyberpunk all right game all right, this is my cyberpunk directory. It should be inside the bin folder, x64. This is where my exe is, all right? So I'm going to put the files here. All right, it's a non-Steam game. So I'm just going to highlight this and drag them over. I think I already have it, so I'll have to overwrite. So I'm just going to overwrite it. Okay, that's what you do. You drag the folders to where your executable is. And then what you need to do is you also need to drag... Yeah, for Linux, it says for Linux, you need to add the dxvk.config file to the game directory. So I'm going to do that as well. Okay, so I'm going to find it. Here it is. Here's the dxvk.config file. So let me just drag it over. Okay. Copy here. I already have it. So, because I've done this before, right? Okay, and then what else do I need to do? I need to do that... Um, FSR thing, see, uh, seeing the compatibility. I need to do CFR. Okay, so what's that? That's a different step. It's here. Okay, it's here. So what you need to do is you need to extract the folder. Let me check it out. Um, da, 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 da. Okay, there's an executable called potato is back dot zip. Okay, so let me go to that. Okay, here it is, potato is back.zip. So we need to extract all this to the 
root as well. So let's extract it and move it. Okay, so I'm going to move it to the root. Okay, apply, overwrite. Okay, make sure you read it carefully because, you know. And then it says, if you're using Linux or NVIDIA GPU, remove the dxgi.dll. All right, so let's do that first. So where is it? Where is it? All right, here. Dxgi.dll. I'm going to delete it. So move to trash. And then it also says, um, also if the game contains a file called this, um, nvngx underscore dossd dot dll, remove or re rename that as well. So let's find it. I think we have it here. Uh, what's it called? NVN. All right, I'm going to sort by name. Okay, N. All right, this one. NVNGX underscore DOSSD. All right, make sure it's got the D at the end. There's two files, one without the D, one with the D. So this one, I'm just going to move it to trash as well. Okay. Okay. And then for that, um, there's a file called. This one, enable signature override.reg. Right, we need to add that to our Windows registry. So how do you do that? Okay, let's locate that file. Let's locate that file. We, we copied it to the, uh, to the game file. So it's called enable, so E. Okay. I'm going to make a copy because um, in the registry, I can't locate this location. So I'm just going to put one of I'm going to copy one of these and I'm going to put it into my downloads I already I think I already have it yeah I already have it so overwrite okay now make sure the game has been run one time once already so you have a prefix folder so I'm going to open proton tricks okay, if you don't know what proton tricks is okay, let me show you go to your discover software center okay and then type proton on the search bar on the top left and then download and install this Proton Tricks, the one with the red wine glass. All right, make sure you have that. And when you launch it, it should you should see something like this. Okay, and then I'm going to go to my non-Steam game, Cyberpunk 2077. Double click it. Okay, wait for it. It like it needs some time to like, load into your prefix folder. It looks like it's doing nothing, but it's actually doing its thing. All right, see, there it is. Click select the default wine prefix and then click here, run reg edit. Okay. And if you're familiar with Windows, this is the reg edit for Windows. Then go here, registry, import registry file. Then I'm just, it's in my downloads folder. So I'm already in my downloads folder. Okay, here, enable signature override.reg reg. Okay, so the keys and values contained were successfully added to the registry. All right, so make sure you do this. And then we should be done. All right, let me see. Yeah, we should be done. You should be done. Now you add that, um, that command for launch windows. I think I've already done it. But yeah, here, I just copy it from this um, readme file. Open up your Steam. Steam library. Okay, Cyberpunk. And then go to properties. All right, yeah, see the launch options. I already have this. So make sure you have this. Like this will launch that DLL file to start the process of your mod. All right, and then click play. And we should get that window. The mod window. Yeah, see that? That means the mod is doing its thing and then the game boots up. So that's how you like install this FSR 3.0 frame generation mod onto cyberpunk 2077 phantom liberty and make sure inside the game you, you don't use the fsr 2.1 you have to set it to dlss for this mod to kick in yeah that's a little bit different i think it says it here does it say it here um or does it say it in the i think it says it in the compatibility how did i know that let me see um Nope. 
thanks to unabated gang wars, one officer down, so I guess you're all screwed. Oh yeah, here it says it here in the this part. It says that um Here, uh, point number five for the uh, DFSR installation. It says, um, follow the steps. And once installed, select DOSS, not FSR 2 and not DOSS frame generation in game to enable FSR 3. So it says it here. I'll zoom in right now. All right. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.